What's up guys? Welcome back once again. It is me, Malt. So happy to be here with you guys today. We are doing some base reviews. We've got some Town Hall 8 bases to review. Um, but you know what? A lot of the things that I say in these videos don't only apply to Town Hall 8 and whatnot. You can take anything that I say and uh, kind of apply it to your own base, uh, especially when it comes to uh, the shape of mortars and things like that. So let's go ahead and jump into this. First off, we've got Robin, Town Hall 8, level 71. Um, and he is got a farming base, but what's interesting about it is he's not protecting his loot. So it's a farming base, but all of your loot is on the outside wall. So first of all, this isn't really a farming base. I don't know what you're protecting. Uh, you definitely need to move your loot in. So you need to bring your gold right in here. You need to bring your gold right in here. You need to bring your wizard towers out. All that kind of stuff. Um... <clears throat> to protect those and then probably even bring your mortars out to uh, the edges as well if you can. I would bring your king out uh, somewhere over here because you want to have at least um, two of your gold storages on the inside probably around here and then uh, your dark elixir storage is already in the center. Take this drill out. That's not going to get you that much. I would put a storage in there. Um, but besides that, let's talk about the fundamentals of the base. So you've got the triangulated uh, wizard towers, which is good. You've got the squared uh, mortars. You've got your air defenses in a triangle as well. <clears throat> so you're doing good there. And let's see all your point defenses. So you got archer cannon, archer cannon, archer cannon, archer cannon. Good job, archer cannon all the way around, which is... One of the biggest things I say, so if you guys don't even have Town Hall 8, maybe you're Town Hall 7 or Town Hall 6, uh, just definitely make sure that you do that kind of stuff with your point defenses. Do Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon all the way around the base. Um, you've got your Teslas spread out well, so good job there. Um, I may even consider uh, taking some of these things out and moving the Teslas out there if you want to. Uh, but again, the biggest thing for this base is going to be deciding what it's for. Like, what is the point of this base? I imagine it's uh, a farming base, obviously, since you don't have your town hall in there. But right now, you're not protecting your loot too well. So, I would move, um, I'd move your gold in here and, uh, and your gold in here. And then scoot out those mortars. Probably have a mortar right here and a mortar right here. <clears throat> and just try and protect your loot a little bit more. I would take this out because that's not going to get that much Dark Elixir for you. Um, so, yeah, that's the biggest stuff I would do, Robin, if I were you. We're going to move on now to Condor Man, uh, Tunnel 8 farming base, protecting his Dark Elixir and his regular Elixir inside of the base, as well as his gold. So his gold is spread out around the inside. Uh, this is only, that is the only resource that is actually um, a little vulnerable but as you can see he's got these giant bombs here so great job with that uh, let's go ahead and work our way around the base so you've kind of got a triangle with your uh, wizards it's a little sketchy but um, I'm okay with it you do have your mortars and a square around the base so great job with that uh, let's go ahead and talk about your point defenses archer cannon archer cannon archer cannon uh, cannon oh there's the other archer archer cannon all the way around so good job right there with that um, your air defenses are protected well also, and you've got a good, you're doing you're doing well when it comes to your traps as well. You've got a good usage of their placement uh, by the defenses. This double one right here, your Tesla, I would consider that a trap as well, even though it's a defense just because it surprises people. And then your bombs right there. So you've spread those out around the base really, really well. So good job with that, Condorman. Um, I would definitely say keep upgrading your stuff. It looks like you've done a really, really good job of that. Definitely got to uh, finish your walls up because a Town Hall 8 with max walls is pretty intimidating in my opinion. Um, but otherwise, it's looking pretty good. Again, you've got your Teslas all around the base. Uh, you're upgrading two Archer Towers. One thing I might do is bring this Archer Tower over here and switch those out just so that you don't have two Archer Towers on one side upgrading because now this side is vulnerable because it has two defenses on it so if you guys are ever upgrading anything uh, or two of the same thing make sure that they're on opposing sides of the base so that you can have um, a little bit more protection all right uh, we're gonna go ahead and move on to the next base again Connorman you've you've done a great job I don't really think I would change too much I really like the uh, these 
extra long uh, areas in here for people to walk in and, and get uh, get some damage done to them, if you know what I'm saying. So let's go ahead and move on. This looks like the kind of base that I would make. Um, uh, but sorry, the phone's ringing. Uh, so this is this looks like the kind of base that I would make. Um, I really like the the trap usage in here as the defenses walk uh, from here over. But I'm not sure if they necessarily will walk directly in that direction. Uh, they might because they will chase after the skeleton trap. So there was a good usage of those traps right there. Let's go ahead and talk about uh, the core of the base. So you've got your mortars uh, practically in a square in the middle, which is awesome. You've got triangulated wizard towers, which is good. Uh, same thing with your air defenses, and they're all protected by at least two layers of walls. So that's awesome. Really, really good usage of your walls there. Uh, you've got these trap areas as well, these long traps. So um, again, that's another good usage because giants, if they break in right here, are going to go, oh, look, there's a Tesla over there. Oh, look, there's a Tesla over there. <laughs> and they're going to go chase after those. So that's really, really good usage as well. And you're doing a good job of protecting your uh, resources. And you've got your clan castle in the middle, which is exactly where it needs to be. Now, one thing I would do is you have five, one, two, three, four, five uh, resources right next to each other right there. I would take one of these uh, barracks, put it right there. Take one of these barracks, put it right there just to switch it up so that people can't just deploy a whole bunch. So if you're gone all night and someone deploys a bunch of archers and uh, barbarians or goblins right there, then they are going to take a good amount of your resources. So definitely spread those out. I don't know why this is here. I don't think that's necessarily a good usage of your bombs. They probably blow up a lot, which in turn costs you gold. It doesn't save you gold. So uh, you really have to be careful how you use your traps in this game because uh, if if this explodes and it costs you, I don't know how much it is, 15,000 gold, and you only have a little bit of gold that's protected, then it's not really worth it for that to blow up. So um, definitely pay attention to that kind of stuff as well, no matter what level you're at. Um, but yeah, I like the base. It looks pretty cool. Um, definitely symmetrical, which is one of the biggest things that I always talk about. Uh, so next, we've got village edit mode. <laughs> Just kidding, I don't know what your name is. Um, so we've got our mortars in a square. We've got our wizards triangulated as well as our uh, air defenses. And that means that Illuminati is confirmed. Illuminati is confirmed. <laughs> so let's go ahead, keep on talking. Um, you've got a good core to the base as well. Looks like you've got a bunch of traps in the middle. And you've got these great long areas to kite defenses as they come in. Uh, these are pretty cool. I actually like the usage of your traps and bombs right there um, because you'll fling some off um, and then, uh, wow, I just dropped my phone, and then cause some damage to other ones. So that's really, really good as well. Uh, you've got good trap usage right here for uh, troops to walk in and come right here, take a little bit of damage. Um, you do, however, have two archers right next to each other right here and two cannons right next to each other right here. So. I would try and switch that up so that it's archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, archer, cannon, and then you should be good to go. So just switch these two right here and switch these two right here, and then you'll have your point defenses all set. Um, again, it looks like you did a good job of spreading out your resources. Uh, you've got the spell factory right there. You've got a barrack right in between those. So. Good job with that. That looks really, really good. Um, definitely keep upgrading. I would say wizard towers first and foremost because they're freaking beast mode. But other than that, it uh, looks like a pretty good design. Let's go ahead and move on to neon fire. Dude, you've got some good looking walls. They have some attractive walls. <laughs> uh, good job upgrading those. It doesn't look like you have too many left. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about your defenses. So you got your mortars triangulated right there. you got your wizards really, really spread out. Um, these two are pretty exposed. I might try and move those in a bit. Um, maybe move them in right here to where that elixir is and move that one into where that gold is just so they can protect both of them evenly and so that they don't take too much damage because you want your wizard towers to last as long as possible. Um, I do love the symmetry of the base. You could fold it right down the middle and it would be identical um, when it comes to the wall layout. So great job with that. Uh, let's see, you got Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon, Archer Cannon. Have you been watching my videos? I think you have. Good job with that. That looks awesome. Uh, you've got your, that's a, that's an awesome spot for a Halloween headstone. 
Just saying. Um, you've got your Teslas in a good spot. I like this one up here. This is actually a really cool base. This looks like the kind of base uh, that I would design. I like these big areas uh, for people to come in. It almost looks like um, my Town Hall 10 design where you have the square up here and then an area. And then, yeah, this looks just like my town. This whole this whole portion right here looks just like my Town Hall 10, uh, except you have walls right here and right here. Um, so yeah, I definitely like the way that it looks up top. It's definitely going to confuse some people and, and cause a lot of distraction for the troops as they walk all through here and then walk through here uh, and have to deal with that. So that's a great base, dude. Looks really, really good. I like the way that it's looking. Um, but that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Again, if you want your base reviewed, make sure that you send an email to basereviewswithmolt at gmail.com. And I will try my best to get to it. We've got about 2,000 of them in my inbox. Uh, so I can't get to all of them. But anything that you hear or see me talk about in here, try and apply it to your base. And it'll make it just a little bit better, all right? Thank you so much for watching, guys. I really do appreciate it. And as always, make sure you keep calm and clash on for me, all right? See you guys later. Peace.